had a huge ice storm last night and all I heard last night all along all night long was uh, cracking branches and trees falling so we are going to go make an assessment it's gonna be a little bit loud out here because the generators are in the neighborhood are are up and we definitely do not want to uh, be walking underneath any trees so I'm only gonna be able to show you um, stuff from a distance but let's go take a look and find out what's going on start in the backyard here Luckily, um, I'm not going to touch these because nature knows how to handle itself the best, but um, luckily arborvitae are made to bend over like that because this is a natural occurrence and these are native trees, but that doesn't mean that they're going to be unscathed and everything is just covered in a sheet of ice. Yeah, so I want to be careful that I'm not getting underneath any of the big trees here so I'm not really going to be able to go into the backyard too too much but I did want to kind of get out here because I know that there is a lot of stuff that fell down so let's see what we got yeah so I don't really want to go any further we've got electric lines up there but everything is covered it looks like the trees for the most part the uh, redbud trees are hanging on and it looks like the arborvitae are hanging on too. Yeah, so miraculously we didn't lose power. I'm actually surprised by that. Our house is the first one to generally lose power, but of course the day is young and it's still pretty drizzly and cold here, so I don't want to be out here too long. I'm just trying to see see what kind of stuff I need to deal with here. is definitely covered hopefully this will melt soon if it gets windy we're gonna be in for we're gonna be in for a ride now I know for a fact that we lost some again I don't want to be underneath the tree in the front here so let me scoot go into the street and we'll be able to get a better look at what's happening here so I know for sure I'm going to uh, explain to you guys why a white pine tree is not an appropriate landscape tree in a cold climate. So they are beautiful in the forest, but they are not appropriate landscape trees. And this, this is the reason why. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So there you go. That's what happens when you have an ice storm, which we have at least one every every season um, for the most part usually in April it's a little bit early um, but yeah so there's the pine trees now, I don't want to be walking underneath these trees at all you can see that my tree is blocking <laughs> blocking the neighborhood road so uh, I need to take care of that as soon as possible and wow, like this pine tree here lost basically the whole side of the tree. I hate to say it, but I think that that one pine tree is going to have to come down. Oh, gee whiz. Anyway, it looks like a huge branch fell on the boxwood hedge. Hopefully, it's just a small little niche there and we can take care of that. And everything is still covered and it is really humid out here so I'm worried that it's still building up ice yeah so you can see like all these branches fell off of this off of the big white pine trees that's really really quite unfortunate there but that's what happens I mean white pines they have these big beautiful branches that go horizontally out from the trunk and those things get filled with ice and they become just too heavy and they just snap right off. Yeah, I mean, you can see the size, the size of those branches. These are really big branches. Like I don't have any chance at all of moving that because it is way too heavy. And you can see up there, I've got one branch that's on the boxwood. But you know what? I mean, 
this is this is nature this is what happens everything is going to be fine i just need to get this cleaned up and i think probably we'll hire somebody to help us with this this is a pretty big job and it's pretty cold outside so we will do the best we can to get this taken care of soon yeah so i think the main thing is i definitely got to get those branches out of the road here and that arborvitae <laughs> That arborvitae hedge, which already is looking pretty mangy from the deer, is definitely got a got some damage there. So I have to take a look at that. But you know what? I'm happy to say nothing fell on the house yet. So that's always a good thing. And um, hopefully everybody is safe. That's the important thing. I mean, this is this is nature. Nature is burly can rebound for sure. It's just a matter of getting this stuff cleaned up and taking care of it. Yeah, so I am safe in my garage right now. I don't want to be out there because the branches, you know, it's still, it's very cold and the branches are just covered with ice. So it's not good to be outside underneath the trees because anything could fall at any time. But um, I just thought I'd share like what, it, <laughs> what mayhem ice leaves i mean snow is is much easier to deal with than ice okay and this is what the backyard looks like again i'm not going i'm not going to walk out there because you know everything is still just coated with ice so branches could be falling down but really overall things are things are okay we got a big big branch in the back there oh that's such a bummer you know, the tree that, well, what used to be Anna's tree has lost a huge branch. Yeah, so you can see here, like you can see there's a branch hanging on the wire there. And then the tree, part of the tree that you see right above that arborvitae cedar hedge, that's not supposed to be there. So that tree, that branch is not attached to the tree anymore. So they probably have quite a mess on the other side of the fence there. Oh, that's a bummer but the birds are singing the birds are out there flying around the squirrels are out they're just gonna go <laughs> go about their business it's just another day another day doing their thing so anyway that's it for this quick update i hope you guys have a great day i hope everyone is safe and we'll see you in the next one